my base coat of the rubber cement and uh, there's some precautions on the label here you should read but I do have the uh, window cracked open and I'm just using the brush that it came with and I'm putting on about a three inch wide band and this uh, this coating is just going to soak right in uh, it'll, there should be a little bit of tackiness here after about an hour and then uh, we'll be putting a, a wet coat on there just prior to the application so uh, it's a good idea also to have a uh, some kind of a trowel here to smooth this out although I noticed that it gets pretty smooth but I just have uh, a wooden stick here that I'm using and also I do have a line marked up on the top and if the strip's too wide that's not going to hurt anything I don't think you want it too narrow though but I have a, a line on the top and that's going to be the top of the backdrop so I'm just getting it on here and then I'm I'm evening it out with my with my trowel. Okay, now what I did was I put another coating of the contact cement down and I um, I have it attached on the corner there with a thumbtack. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unroll a good piece of this and get it up to my pencil line and put a little piece of tape down to hold it in place. Uh, they recommend um, using a trowel, using a roller in one direction. Which is what I'm doing here. It looks like it's really sticking well. I went the whole length here, the whole 12 feet with my second coat. And uh, anyways, it seems like it's going really fast and like it's sticking well. Um, okay, I'm putting on my second coat of uh, contact cement and I have it all measured out. So I'm going to end up matching up with the other backdrop. I have a mark over there and I'm just going to glue the section from here to here. And then I'm going to work my way that way into the corner, into the transition to the other, other sheet. Um, and do the curved corner at that time. But this way I'm going to get my line straight and uh, <clears throat> get this part adhered. So I make sure and I have the proper... The proper level. For the backdrop. Okay, I have a couple uh, close pins stuck into the wood here to help hold the backdrop up, and I have a little pencil mark right here. It's gonna line up right here, <clears throat> and I want to, and I have the the second coat for about three feet, and I'm gonna glue this part down, and then put some tape on it, and then I'll work on the corner and work my way back into the old section that I have applied yesterday and um, I'm going to do a curve cut on that one where the transition is. Okay I'm going to get this section on and uh, I got my backdrop stretched out a ways. There. And I have my line and my mark and I'm mainly trying to get this top just perfectly even with my line. Now this part's already got both coats of glue on it. And I got my trowel, my roller here. And I'm being careful to get my perfectly straight with my line. And there is a little bit of forgiveness here. So, there, I got my one mark here, and I got my second mark down here. 
So that part's in place. And I've got a couple, got a couple small pieces of tape on there. And I like to bend my tape over on one end so I have a little handle to pull it off with later on. Okay, and now I have it uh, held up there by a couple of those clothespins. And I'm just going to put my second coat of glue around the corner here. And I'm going to go top, sides, and middle. And then I'm going to press it in just up to this point. And, and I'm going to let that set for a while. And when that's all said and done, this is loose and this is loose. And then I can work on that transition zone where the two pieces meet together. Okay, now we're going to put the two pieces together and uh, the old one turned out to be about, supposed to be 12 feet, it's about 13 and a half feet long. So I'm going to be able to take some of this off and uh, transition this a little bit better into here. So I got a brand new knife and I have a pencil drawing here where I'm going to draw this uh, so it's going to meet, match up better with my landscape. And we'll have sky behind here, what I'm taking out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through both sheets at the same time. Now underneath here, I just have the first coat down, so it's a little bit tacky. But this material will come off very easily. And uh, so anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, make this cut. And I'm going to slightly angle it like this, holding the, holding the, the, the knife this way. Um, so... I don't get a white seam and uh, regardless what happens here I'll have to do some sort of touch-up possibly but I'll have somewhat of a regular edge here which shouldn't be as noticeable okay here I finished I finished making my cut and uh, here um, I removed the piece this was the underneath I cut through both at the same time and uh, Peel that one away and put down my other coat, my second coat of uh, cement, and then rolled it in. And uh, I tried not to be too liberal with my cement, but I tried getting an even coat on the whole thing, and it looks like it turned out pretty good. And if you don't, if you're not happy with it, you can always peel it off um, soon. If you do it, you know, right away, you do have some time to reposition it because it does come off like this. Although the more, the more you reposition it, the, the weaker your, your bond is. So we'll just put this back into place and there we have our transition. Well, I uh, got the whole backdrop up and um, I thought I would just review a couple of the key points. And the first one is I just used the glue, the rubber cement across the top and on the corners and on the joints. And since I'm gonna be doing a transition, adding a couple inches to the back of the layout and pushing the layout against the existing backdrop here the way I have it, um, I thought that would hold the bottom in and I wouldn't have to worry about having a line in the middle and on the bottom. And I think the way I did it is gonna minimize my wrinkles as well. And right here you can see uh, this was the sky and this was the piece of landscape and here I just uh, made that angle cut and it does actually look like a hill. I think that turned out really good. Um, I put some tape along the bottom and um, it took me about a day and a half uh, working alone to get these three sections so, up. I, all in all I have to say I really like the material. It's very sturdy and um, it adheres well to this masonite. Uh, it was easy to put up, and I have to say that I would recommend it uh, to anybody that was thinking about having a backdrop, professionally looking backdrop, uh, installed yourself. So thank you for watching, and have fun with your hobby.